Oftentimes, life is unfair. We become complacent with it, but we all know deep down that whatever forces are acting upon us do not have our best interests in mind. It doesn't matter how hard you try. It doesn't. The universe always manages to screw us over. You can work as hard as you want for months and months to get that promotion, and in the end, the job always goes to the owner's deadbeat son. Stay warm. squeeze but it works. So how are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm fine. So why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? What are your likes? What do you do? Uh, Alright, what'd you do this morning? Well, I went and saw my friend Chuck after I got up early. We had breakfast. Then we just sort of sat around. Okay. You enjoy spending time with your friends? I guess. Why are you here? Come on. It's confidential. You don't have to worry. My friends wouldn't stop hounding me. They kept bugging me and bugging me. They had an intervention and all this stuff. So it upsets you when they ask you to seek counseling? Wouldn't it upset you? I'm sure they had my best interest at heart. It's not that. They essentially forced me to come. They didn't even listen. I'm sure they tried. They didn't. That's the problem. They didn't even try to understand. What are they not understanding? I finally told them who I really am, and they didn't accept it. They, they just told me I was confused, and I'm not. Sometimes it can be hard to reveal ourselves to people like that, and when we do, it's even harder to have them reject us for it. Why can't they just accept that I'm different from them? People are afraid of what they don't understand. That much is true. Any trip to the movie theater will show you that. Astrophobia is out of control here. I'm sorry? I'm just saying, you people are very scared of things you don't understand. I, I, I get that, Andy, but you people? Humans. Psychologists believe there are five stages of grief.
First, there's denial. Then there's anger. And then bargaining. Depression. And then... What are you writing? So when I ask you to tell me about yourself, you didn't think it would be important to mention that you're not human? Well, specifically, not an earthling. Hmm? hmm? It's nothing. So, tell me about your father. Never had one. That's unfortunate. Not really. I literally never had a father. On my planet, we have specifically assigned caretakers that remove a lump of energy and organic matter from a biomass, sort of like a lake here, and they take that lump and form it into a photon-based life form. And that's you? That's me. And how long ago was this? I don't know. We don't really keep track of time the way you do here. We're light-based life, as opposed to carbon-based, so our bodies don't really decay like yours do. So naturally, we wouldn't really have a need to count our days if our days aren't numbered. Right. What's up, Doc? You speak astonishingly good English for someone who wasn't born here. Earth, that is. Oh, come on, Doctor. If we're going to assume that I have the ability and the technology to traverse large expanses of our galaxy, then I'm sure you're going to see my ability to pick up English with at least some level of proficiency. You're clever, Andy. Don't I know it. Otters are the pinnacle of earthly evolution. They are expertly honed machines designed for a single purpose. Of course, any human would love to argue that their superiority to other earthbound species is due to their societal constructs and intellectual pursuits. Of course. But I would venture to argue that that's your biggest weakness. There's so much squabbling and bickering over non-existent or abstract issues. 
whereas otters have it all figured out. There's no infighting, politics, or spiritual debates with otters. They have a job to do, and every evolutionary advantage they have acquired serves to complete that job. The job being? Being the cutest thing on this half of the galaxy, Doctor. Do you know nothing? Well... So, Doc? What's the diagnosis? Well, Amy... It's been nice getting to know you, Doctor. Andy? Time's up. Well, then, I will see you next week. Hey, well. Hey, it's supposed to rain tonight. Stay warm. <laughs>